Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. And welcome to Cycle Sunday. Now then, shall we talk bike delivery, my friend? I think we should. You got some vans over here? We've got some vans to have a look at, haven't we? Oh, mate, these look amazing. Oh, thanks, Pete. Now then, a lot of people have said, Pete, you live in Chichester, you're working with a bike shop in Edinburgh, that's like 500 odd miles away. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, lots of the followers of Cycle Sunday have loved what we've done, but they lived a long way away from the shop. And you've got all this amazing stock. Yeah. But you kind of came up with a solution for them in that you now deliver a bike. Yeah. Over 1500 quid. Yeah. Anywhere on mainland UK. Yeah. For free. Correct. I mean, how does that work? That just sounds amazing. Yeah, and, and it does. It, <laughs> it does fact, work. It works so well that you've had to buy an extra van. Indeed. And sign writing on the van is very, very cool, by the way. Thank you, we're yeah. really pleased, yes. yes. So, so how, how does it, well, tell me about the process. How does that work? Really straightforward. You order your bike on the website. You can phone us in the store and we'll help advise and make sure it is the right bike and the right size of bike. Order your bike and we deliver the bike in our vans, us doing it, not a third party courier, it's us delivering, we then give a thorough handover, the bike's ready to go, your accessories are fitted, if you've got a full suspension mountain bike we've even set up your uh, air suspension as well. Cool. We, we just want to do everything and that's any bike, 1500 quid and above is free of charge anywhere on mainland UK. Um, and anything that's a thousand pounds to fourteen ninety nine, yeah, we charge fifty quid. Sounds like a bit of a bargain. It's very good. Now, this service started over the summer, yes. and actually, one of the first bikes you delivered, yes, was to Mrs. Petroped. You drove all the way down to Chichester. You dropped off two bikes en route, three, three, three bikes, bikes en route, en route. <laughs> and then dropped off an e-bike for Tracy. And this video is about that journey yes. of dropping off the bike and Tracy's e-bike. Yes. Um, so let's go back to the summer and kind of have a look at that. But interestingly, I'm now back here yes. with Tracy's e-bike because we need a few things doing to it. Indeed. So let's go back to the summer. Yes, that would be nice. Your, follow, I know, although we have got sunshine here. I know. It's been raining all day. But anyway. <laughs> um, and, and have a look at that because I, I think it's, I mean, it's been brilliantly successful for you. But what it does is it opens up Criterium Cycles and the great service that I've experienced, but I've had to drive 500 miles to come to the shop. Yes. But you don't have to do that. You no. can just get, you, you'll drive to them. No, and interestingly, a number of you peddlers out there, followers of Cycle Sunday, yep. have purchased bikes from us. Yeah. Do you know what? It's just dawned on me that it's not nine o'clock in the morning yet, and I've already done all three countries in mainland Britain. I came from Scotland, relatively quickly got into England, and now going over the Prince of Wales Bridge, I'm in Wales. Who calls that? Call Peter Greaves Mobile. Calling Peter Greaves. <phone rings> Hello? Hello, is that Peter? It is, yes. Peter, it's Paul here from Criterium Cycles. Ah, hello, how are you? I am absolutely fantastic, thank you. I, I take it you're both very excited on my impending arrival? <laughs> Massively excited. Yes, it's like Christmas morning. Ah, oh, brilliant. Excellent. Waiting for Santa Claus. <laughs> well, not quite, as, um, not, not quite as beardy, but I'm definitely as fat. But I, but I do have uh, your bicycle in the back. Um, I've just encountered a little bit of traffic, so my ETA to you is just before three o'clock. I hope that's okay. That's absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Absolutely perfect. Give us a call when you're nearly here, and we'll direct you. Absolutely perfect. I'll speak to you later. All right, Paul. Look forward to it. Take care. Cheers, Peter. Cheers, mate. Bye. 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 How good was that? That is the professionalism of Criterium Cycles, right there. <laughs> well, 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 well. Who do we have here? It's Jasper. 
Mr. Criterium Cycles himself. He managed to get through the border checks into England. And he's got something very special in the back of the van for Mrs. Petrolhead. The yellow thing in the sky, mate, that's called the sun. It happens down here all the time. Really? Yeah. Have you seen it before? It, it, it's just been heating. Yeah, it's the it's called warmth. Really? Yeah, and this this is called dry. Dry? Yeah. Dry? Yeah, oh it's warmth. the opposite to dry. See? <laughs> Don't know if I can cope with this. Good to Good see, to see you, you, buddy. <laughs> now then. Mr. Valkyrie's at the house. I'm here. He's at the barn. I'm Excellent. Here. Very, very early start this morning, but here to deliver Mrs. Petroped's e bike. Yep. Now, we have surprised her with a couple of bits. We've already given her a nice, lovely, spangly pair of Bontrager shoes yep. to ride her new e bike. But now, Paul's just got to get the bike out of the van uh, and then do the handover. So, I thought you'd like to kind of see the process. Indeed. Indeed. It's a very nice bike's being delivered. So, you've got this is. Tease Mrs. Petroped's lovely bike here. It is. This is her new Powerfly Sport Powerfly e bike. Sport. And then some lucky gits getting that Archidex. That. Look at this. What a thing. Let's straighten the handlebars. I was going to say that looks difficult to ride with them like that. <laughs> Just makes it slightly more easy to to transport when you've got multiple bikes in the uh, in the back. The most observant of you will notice there is no pedals. Uh -huh. So we've not built another balance bike for the green side, <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a bit of a surprise for uh, Tracy as well. So, Good out. Yeah, we in. like surprises. We like surprises. <laughs> You're going in. I'm going in. <laughs> Come on then, Greavesy. She's been hiding. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Really good. You excited? Very. You're really excited. I'm very excited. So I can see it. Yeah. But she's wearing her new shoes. Wearing her new shoes. Already. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> So your brand new Trek Powerfly 4 wow. in lithium grey. That's gorgeous. I it's, love it. It's great, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, really, really cool. It's the gift that keeps on giving though, because we've not <laughs> finished yet. Yeah. Really? Well, you know how you've got your new shoes? Yeah. And you'll probably notice that there's no pedals on the bike. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what we've done is we've got some nice new grips oh, from Deity to go with your shoes. <laughs> Colour coordinated. coordinated. But also from Deity, we've got some nice oh, new wow. pedals. Look at those! Just to oh, work perfectly for you. So we'll get all of those fitted for you. Super. Thank you. Happy. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh. I can't wait to get out on it. No. So what Paul's going to do now is a client handover. So when he does these free deliveries, yeah. basically yeah. he'll yeah. set the bike up, put the pedals on, yeah. run the client through all the main features of the bike. With this being an e-bike, we need to understand about how the different settings on the motor work, how charging works, basic kind of upkeep and maintenance. So that's now, I guess it will take probably 20 minutes or so, half an hour. And then we'll get Tracy out for a first ride. What do you think, Greavesy? Yeah, it's super cool. Super cool. <laughs> Good to get you riding it, eh? We get a little dog carrier for the back, do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a stealth bomb. <laughs> it's wicked, isn't it? Yeah. And she's off. Well, 
Oh my God, it's amazing. It's so easy, thank you so much. <laughs> it's just brilliant. And these pedals, I love. If you're somebody who doesn't like clipping in, because that's not enough control for you, uh -huh. uh, those pedals, just your feet don't move. It's really brilliant. Love it. Excellent. That went well. Went absolutely brilliant, didn't it? <laughs> so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, uh, we've been working on this for a while now. Uh, yeah. And she's wanted an e-bike for a long time. Yeah. So it's going to take a while to get the confidence going, and stuff. Um, she's not actually. We worked out she's not actually ridden a bike for over a year. No. And so the, and this scrunchy drive that we're on. Yeah. Frankly, it was testament to her. Yeah. And the bike that after a year she, wa she was horrible. happy on it yeah yeah you want to try riding a road bike on this mate no i don't it's minging no i don't it's minging yeah, yeah so i think that's our job done so you dropped two bikes off on the way to me yeah and then you got two more i mean who are the lucky yeah. owners of these bad boys that, yeah that, that um feels lovely it's lovely isn't it yes but yeah who's yeah. the lucky owner of that architects because that's lovely the architects yeah well it's interesting really because you know how your Bianchi's sort of slightly delayed. The and most expensive balance bike in the world, you mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, well, how would you like to use the Arcadex until uh, until it's finished? <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Kidding me? No. Is that even in my size? It might just be in your size. It might also be set up. Mate, it's such, they are such good looking bikes. When we film the gravel bike, video yes they're just it's the angle of the bars it's the colorways it's yes. they're just a damn good looking bike well the other <laughs> how nice is that it's in it's also in peak size you're kidding what massive size what do you reckon petrol pup mate that how gorgeous is that <laughs> Tell us about this surprise bike <laughs> and all the lovely bits you've got on the ground down there. Yeah, I think it's in, in, in important to state that, um, you know, big thanks to uh, Trek uh, for this. Uh, wanted to uh, kit the bike out for you, not just uh, not just supply the bike itself. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a top tube bag because on Arcadex you've got the top tube uh, mounts here. So that's really cool. Actually. So we're going to get rid of this piece of Velcro here completely and then we've got the two holes that will just bolt directly onto the top of the frame. Cool. So that will hold itself nicely. We've got a couple of um, bottle cages, which I hope <gasps> the camera oh, can catch it. Like but they're really actually deep metallic, metallic blue. blue with a lighter blue fleck on there. Were they made for this bike? Mm, pretty much. <laughs> and, uh, and they're going to look absolutely gorgeous on the bike. Yeah. So we'll get those bolted on for you as well. And. <gasps> Yeah, nice new pair of uh, Bontrager <laughs> shoes. Um, again, just got the nice anti-scuff on there. They're yeah. nice and light, but they've still got a nice uh, narrow heel cup on there. Yeah. So it's going to work well with the chain stay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they'll obviously need to clip into something. Yeah, they need some pedals, but you've not seen these yet, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just got a new pair of uh, uh, pedals for you. <gasps> I was just wondering what you think to those. Oh, mate. That's that's got like a really cool heat treatment on it. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we like those. We like Thank those. Thank you, Trek. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> All good. Well, I think it's such a beautiful evening. It would be rude not to go for a bit of a bike ride. TG, let's go out for a quick spin. Oh, she's got a hat on already. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> You all ready? Where's my bike? I'll just put it over there for you. Oh, amazing. <laughs> She's all ready. Are we going to go uh, off-road? Uh, wherever you want, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. It's, it all looks even got it in walk mode. That's even more impressive. Oh, check her out. Seriously? I was paying attention. <laughs> you get the gate? Uh, I do need a gate. That'd be super helpful. I'm missing something. Oh, where's your helmet? <sighs> Idiot. Well, actually, Pete, <laughs> as this is the gift that always keeps giving, 
again. Oh, mate. From our friends at, at Trek. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it even matches the bike. Same it, colour and everything. It looks good. Well, you know, something needs to protect that precious head. Hi. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> She's spinning it up. <laughs> Doing burnouts. <laughs> So, Mrs. Petroped loves her bike, but most importantly, let me introduce Rosie. We have talked about Rosie so much in the podcast and on the channel. This is the power in the Bowker household. This is the boss, okay? But interestingly, you have exactly the same challenge with your bike as Tracy has with hers, because the big challenge Tracy has with her bike, because these e-bikes are a bit bigger and heavier than a normal yeah. bike, yeah. and she feels a little bit intimidated by it, but in order to have the saddle height, the right height for her to ride, it means that she finds it really hard to get on and off the bike, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you do. Because your saddle at the moment um, is, is that up or down? That's so down. That's down. Stick it up for me. Don't, right, so, so a dropper post is the solution apparently. But let's talk about dropper posts first, because they are a mountain bike thing really, aren't they? Yes, yeah. They're designed for mountain bikes so that when you're going down the hill, you can drop the saddle right down and get it out of the way so that you can move around much more Should naturally. Should we try and do a demo of that? <laughs> <laughs> we can try. This could be massively dangerous. Okay. So, so if you're... I, if I drop my saddle down, yeah. and then it means that when I'm riding, I can move backwards over my saddle, move around. My saddle's not in the way if I need to move my weight backwards or forwards, move my way back yeah. and round. And but then when you put it up high, then I put it up high. Now you can do your whole now, cycling thing. Now I can pedal, get full pedal rotation. So if I'm climbing, so particularly on a non e-bike, but any bike really means that if you've got full leg extension, then I can climb much better, more efficiently using my glute muscles rather than my quads. Yeah. So this is the bit we can't quite get Tracy like that because what happens if you take your feet off the pedals? <laughs> you're not going to be able to touch the floor no. and that means getting on and off the bike so if you just jump yeah, off so the bike I'd have, to, it, I'd have to come down like that which, yeah. is, which is fine but because it's kind of a bigger bike yeah. it's, and, and the motion that Tracy's finding hard is going from there when she's at standstill to getting up onto the seat yeah. so the cunning plan we've got is if so we if you try and do that it's, it's quite awkward to Oof. get right back up and you sometimes get the what Tracy's getting is the peak of the saddle's getting caught in a yeah, in cycling shorts, yeah. shorts and then, then it's a nightmare. So if you drop the dropper post, first you can put your feet on the floor, super easy. And then the idea is you strike off, start cycling, and then once you're up to speed, you just lift yourself up off the... Off the yeah. So I would set off just really easily like this. So I'm yeah. just going to pedal backwards because I'm stationary. But effectively do that. And then once I'm going and really kind of Bit of speed, bit, yeah. of, bit of stability in the bike. Then just stop. So a dropper post is the next mod on Tracy's bike. So mm. should we go and fit one? That sounds now they're not ridiculously expensive, are they? They're kind no. of couple hundred quid yeah and, and plus fitting because yeah. there's sometimes internal routing to do as well but yeah, yeah they start at around about 200 pound for the for the dropper yeah so we reckon this could be a good solution so we'll go and fit it and then i'll take the bike home because i bought the bike with me and then we'll get tracy to ride it again great thank you for the demonstration can you come on the channel again because you're much better than paul <laughs> <laughs> so time to fit tracy's dropper post now this is Stephen, another one of uh, Criterium Cycle's awesome bike technicians. What I didn't realise with this <laughs> is we've had to take the engine out. <laughs> so the, um, the actual CX motor, the Bosch CX motor is there. There's a big hole uh, at the bottom of the bike and that is to basically thread the internal cable or the cable inside uh, the bike so that it will pop out here um, and then we can attach the little um, handlebar mounted lever and then the dropper post so it's actually a, a 
a pretty big job. <laughs> I just thought in my naivety, it would be, ah, you just take the seat post out and put the new one in. But obviously there's a, there's a lever on the handlebar and you don't want external cables because that looks rubbish. Um, so yeah, routing, routing that cable through has been tricky. Well, there you go. That is a big job. <laughs> I didn't think it would be a job that was going to take that long because you think it's just a seat post. But now we've got a little lever on here and Tracy can get on the bike with the seat down and then put it up to height and off she goes. So the next thing I need to do is get this bike home and get Mrs. Petrol Bed out on it for a test ride. Now then, I've actually just got back from the first ride of my rail, which is still to come. So tune in in a couple of weeks time for that one. But Mrs. Petropeda is in the garden. She's just got back from having her hair done. <laughs> and I'm going to get grab her while I can and get her onto um, her power flight just to see if the modifications we've done in the shop with Rosie's help and the dropper seat post can fix her problem. We're just going to quickly do a, a quick test run up and down uh, the garden driveway just to see if it works. But I have a feeling it will. Up a bit. There you go, cycle height, look at that. And then push down, push the button with the weight down through the seat. Hey! <laughs> Problem solved? Perfect. <laughs> what do you reckon? Paul, I think she approves. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get out on the bikes now? I can ride it without falling off now. Yeah, so now I've got to try and keep up with Mrs. Petrobet on that my rail over there awesome there you go mrs petroped is now more than happy with her e-bike the dropper seat post solved the problem absolutely now stay tuned there's plenty more to come on this series of cycle sunday but make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel and also head over to the podcast right now just search cycle sunday podcast on youtube or go to wherever you get your podcast from itunes or spotify or google or amazon and just search Cycle Sunday Podcast because Paul and I will be taking a deep dive into the subject of this video. But for now, I'm going to go off my rail, get a shower, and we'll chill out for a bit. Anyway, see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Right, safe.